Hey guys, I uh, just want to do a, a quick video here talking about my workflow a little bit and how it's changed in the last couple of weeks or basically since I rebuilt the Primo. And uh, some of you may know that I made a video about why I use Octoprint for uh, my MPCNC. And just to let you guys know, that has changed. Uh, I'm using CNCJS now. And I just want to talk about why I have switched some of the 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 reasons I'm doing that and then uh, just kind of go through my workflow here. So this is uh, a case here that I've made and I modeled it, modeled it in Fusion. And this is a case for a split keyboard. It's called the, the Sync Split Keyboard. It's kind of a DIY kit that you can buy. And I've actually already um, made both of these here. Um, they turned out pretty good, but they don't fit together. And so I've got to put some uh, some tolerance or some clearance in here for them to fit together. So this is my first successful part off the MPCNC, the Primo. I'm very happy with the speeds and feeds. Um, the finish is pretty good. You can see some of the tool pads there. Uh, but uh, that's not what this, this video is about. I want to talk about the workflow here. And uh, so I've got two operations here. You'll have to forgive the, the camera here. I'm kind of just doing this on a whim. But I have three operations here. I have the hog out, I call it, which is a 2D adaptive. And then I leave uh, 0.02 inches stock to leave. And then I come around with a contour to clear that up. And this will bring me to my final dimension. So this, actually, we'll just look here real quick. Stock to leave 0.02 inches. And so I leave 0.02 inches, that way I can kind of crawl up to it with my contour here. And so that's my first operation. My second operation is a contour. And then my last operation is a contour with uh, just taking maybe five step downs and I leave tabs. So once I got my tool pads assigned, and you'll forgive me, I got a print going in the background, uh, I will right click on my setup, go to post process. One thing I have to do here is change my units to millimeters because that's what the uh, the ramps, or the uh, sorry, the Rambo board likes to see. And then I just hit post. And then I come in here, I have a folder here on my Google Drive. I go to MPCNC G-Code files. And then we'll just do test one, two, three, four, five. So once I do that, I just hit save. Now that is in my Google Drive. And so the nice part about that is I can come over to my uh, thin and light here. And here I have, uh, forgive the camera movement, here I have CNCJS already open. And you can see I've already done some work here. But the nice part about that is I can, I have CNCJS open here and I connect to it. So I've got it plugged in through USB here, through USB. And then once I connect to the board, all I have to do is hit upload, G code file, and there it is. My test one, two, three, four, five. Open. Now I just need to zero my tool and I'm ready to go. And um, the only thing you gotta know with a laptop here is that you have some background processes going, turn off, turn off all sleep settings and all that. I would never recommend running a 3D printer off a laptop, but with a CNC, it's a little different. You've got maybe what, an hour, hour and a half long cut is a long cut. So you can kind of get away with that. And so the only thing that I have custom here is my, my zero button here. And so when I hit zero Z, that will be kind of a, a probe or whatever. Um, if I hit my settings here, I can go into custom commands. And so that's my zero Z command. So G28Z zeroes the, the Z axis. And then once it zeroes it, it raises it. it. It tells it that it's what, half of a, half a millimeter, I wanna say 0 0.5 above the Z. And then it raises it five millimeters. And that's what the last command is, Z0, or G0 Z5. And so that lets you raise the, the Z. 
uh, to that way you can get your touch plate out of the way. And so that's the so that way when I hit zero Z, it, it does all that for me. I don't have to worry about typing in each uh, individual command. So um, one of the things here that is kind of nice is the uh, touchpad, or I'm sorry, the keypad. So if I hit that touchpad button there, that keypad, I can come over here. Let me grab my my keypad, and I kind of showed this off in my other video. I'm gonna raise the Z just a hair here. Okay, so then I can move the machine as I as I want to with my up, down, left, right keyboard command. And this is so nice, so much nicer than the the touch the touch screen. So, and you can actually see it go across the screen there. The black dot there is my is my my tool. So, and you can see wh where I'm at, coordinate wise. So, um, if I didn't have CNCJS, and that's that's running on the laptop, if I didn't have that, I'd have to use the touch screen for everything. And it's doable, but it's just not, it's not the most efficient in my opinion. And so having the, the laptop here is very nice. Um, you know, like I said, my longest cut has been 30 minutes. Uh, I have, I do have plans for longer cuts in the future, but uh, you know, it, it works for me and I do like it better than uh, Octoprint. So Octoprint run, is running great with the printer here, uh, the CR10, and here's my my Pi over here. I mean that's a set it and forget it type of solution, which is the way to go. Because I got I'm actually printing a new dust boot here, and uh, you know this is a 14-hour print, so I would never want a laptop to be connected to that. Um, so anyway, if you guys have any questions on the workflow here. And, you know, I, uh, I'm pretty active here on YouTube. Uh, I'd be happy to answer anything. This is one of the things I, I made a video on the workflow in the past, and it is one of the things that I feel is very important with the MPCNC because it's one of the things that a lot of guys don't think about. And they, they build this machine, they want to use it efficiently, and they want to have fun with it, but you need a good workflow to do that, in my opinion. And, uh, I'm always striving to make it easier, faster, better, more efficient. So, uh, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.